You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Ukraine's ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary to the United Kingdom, Vadim Pristaiko, has said on Sunday, January 23rd, he was not surprised by Britain's allegations that Russia was planning to install a puppet government in Ukraine. Ukrainian diplomat Vadim Pristaiko says he has already expected as a logical next step in Russian invasion. They will invade Ukraine and they will have to establish some sort of government. It is not surprising for the Ukraine's ambassador to the United Kingdom. Britain's foreign ministry has said that on Sunday that Moscow was considering former Ukrainian lawmaker Yevhen Moraev as a potential candidate to lead Ukraine if Russia launched an invasion, and said Russian intelligence officers were in contact with several other former Ukrainian politicians about planning an attack. I believe Putin sees himself in the history books, but the question is what he wanted to be written there, that he reunited the Soviet Union back, which he believed was the you know global geopolitical catastrophe when it collapsed. We believe that he can be somebody who would probably find the peace with the Russians themselves and will take care of the Russians because they have to you know to be taken care of better than they are now. I believe they are working now on the presumption that Putin will stop at some particular point. He is just raising the stakes. Again, I do understand how how sensitive people are here to be sending people anywhere, soldiers. And believe me, Ukrainians also would like to, wouldn't like to send their children to to war. The problem is that somebody even you know reminding us, hey guys, you're not a member of NATO and poking us yes. each and every second. This is not helping for sure. So UK's position, United States position, some of us the next partners like like neighbors to us. This position is important, guys. Realize the, your, 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 your strengths. We will help you. But everybody's try, trying to stay away from even the thinking of sending soldiers on, on battles. Absolutely. I do believe that when this peaceful divorce happened 30 plus years ago and all, all of us decided that we'll go our different paths peacefully as a, as a form of you know, living in the same flight and decided to, to find a better place. It doesn't mean that we have to fight each other. But look at what happened with Belarus, mm -hmm. with Kazakhstan. Now Ukraine is the biggest chunk and the most important part in this puzzle. Ukrainian lawmaker Mariev has dismissed British allegations that he could be installed as leader of a Kremlin puppet government in Kyiv and has said that he was considering legal action. Kyiv and its Western allies have sounded the alarm over Russia massing troops near Ukraine's border. Russia denies plans to attack, but he has pressed for security guarantees, including a block on Ukraine joining the NATO alliance. Ambassador Pristaiko says he believes countries are working on the presumption that Putin will stop at some particular point. He's just raising the stakes. Everybody's trying to stay away from even the thinking of sending soldiers on battle.